Uh, the Olympics are ongoing, and I like the fact that you've also raised the issue of uh, athletes from the North Rift. There's a dire situation with our athletes. As much as they are doing Kenya proud, there's really nothing to show for in terms of infrastructure and support that the government has provided to athletes. What you see there is sweat and tears from athletes who've struggled without any support. Many of you have seen athletes, you know, dodging motor vehicles and motorcycles on the road training. That should not be the situation our athletes should be subjected to. Many of them actually have made it into the global stage just by sheer determination. Waziri, coming from that region, please tell the country what you will do different this time around. You are predecessor. When he was here, he said the same thing. He said he was going to change. He actually said he was going to give them world-class treatment, but the situation is totally different today. Number two, the people of Kericho County have sent me. No, no, this is a comment. They can decide to answer or ignore, but just for the record, the people of Kericho County have sent me to you. I landed with you in Kericho County, in Kerengaya Strip, and uh, you, there was a contractor on site. Immediately we left, the contractor left. What really happened was it? Thank you. <laughs> they left together. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable uh, uh, Speaker. Honorable Murko, man. Uh, many Kenyans think that you have actually been taken, taken to the right place. <laughs> because you come from uh, a county of a home of champions, exactly. So I, I think many people are, are seeing that, including myself. Uh, but my question, uh, uh, Honorable Murko, man, is there is a, um, a gap. Uh, and again, people think the Minister for Sports is Minister of Nairobi, you know. So they think that it's Minister of Nairobi. Uh, there's nothing on the ground. So uh, if you uh, if you get the favor of, of House and you become the Minister of Nairobi, what will you do to bring to bring the nexus between the national office, your office at the national level, and the county, so that people in sub locations or locations can actually feel that the Minister for Sports is their minister? You know, is there any way where good people or good sport people, and particularly maybe football, can win in, in, in that sublocation or location and be taken through so that at least they can also feel like they're also national uh, people, so that they don't see the Minister for Sports as only Minister for Nairobi? Thank, Thank you, Mr. Vicaria. Thank you, Chairman. <coughs> Mine is just to, uh, I'm just hoping that uh, uh, the nominee will crack the whip at FKF. Honorable Chairman, uh, yes, I, and, and he has to, Honorable Chairman. I remember one day, 142 million by, was paid to some uh, 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 English company to procure uh, the broadcasting van, which never arrived in the country. And after paying, they, we were told that the, the company that was, was uh, given that money went into insolvency. So I, I think it is important for us to crack. But my question is, uh, 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 the nominee, my friend, Murkomen, one of the best strikers in the Bunge Football Club, is uh, football was football and talent was created at the youth centers, at the location and sublocation, then districts at those days, either sponsored by, uh, in collaboration with, uh, partnership with either Germany, Netherlands, and uh, England. Uh, I don't know whether there is a policy for you to bring back, because when you talk about football, people think of Harambe Stars and AFC and Gormaya, but these players come from uh, some place. So what policy is there to revamp the youth centers sports, not for only for football, but sports in general. Thank you, Chairman. Yes, you can answer those three, Mamini. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Koech has talked about infrastructure. We have a, a number of uh, pending uh, studies that needs to be completed. That includes, Mr. Speaker, Kapkatet Stadium in his county. It, it includes also, Mr. Speaker, the Wote Stadium in Makweni. It also includes the Kamarin, the famous Kamarin Stadium, Mr. Speaker, in, in Iten. In fact, I was so embarrassed. I'm sure most of you have seen um, 
uh, this uh, documentary in uh, CNN, which has been running the last two yes. weeks. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's uh, now Cameroon is a monument of shame because the athletes there are complaining about the infrastructure and the journalists are showing how the Cameroon has become what it is. The speaker have been briefed already. Um, the speaker in the process of uh, preparing myself for this uh, confirmation hearing that some of the pro uh, processes are ongoing in terms of uh, delivering the infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, I, I appreciate that the President has already given direction that sports funds should be wholly uh, supporting the sports activities, and one of which is delivery of the infrastructure. I will make sure that, unfortunately, I'm being followed by the problem of pending bills all the way to, to sports infrastructure, but we'll make sure that we structure the uh, sports fund in such a way that we'll deliver our infrastructure. We need to complete Bugungu Stadium, Mr. Speaker, uh, 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 in Bungoma. Uh, in, I mean, we need to complete the uh, stadium, Mr. Speaker, in Bungoma. Masinda Mulero. Masinda Mulero, yes. I was confusing with the one in... Uh, uh, Bungoma is also... In, 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 yes, installed, but the main one was to make sure that we, Masinda Mulero is covered properly and completed. Mm -hmm. The one is Kericho is completed because we built it recently because of these Madaraka issues. We are going to do a Kuala one. It must be also up to standard, but also all the other stadiums, the speaker, that are still pending will be completed Honorable to standard. Speaker, also the, Udaya Stadium oh, and Uringu Stadium. Uringu and Udaya, Mr. Speaker, have also, especially Uringu is in advanced stage. We'll make sure that we complete and restructure it, it is part of the stadiums, Mr. Speaker, that are going to be used in African uh, 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 which, uh, Cup of Nations for training, and we will make sure that we, we deal with that. Mr. Speaker, on the issue of, so the infrastructure is very important. The second thing is, Mr. Speaker, it's not just enough to do infrastructure. The government must invest in the training itself, in identification of talent, and I'll marry this with the question of Honorable Kikaria. We will use the Kenya Academy of Sports to make sure that we establish uh, training centers in at least all the counties, Mr. Speaker, where we are identifying, identify tunnel, talent are, 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 are trained. We will work also with the schools. Schools have better placed to help us to identify the talent. There's some of our footballers, like Adrian, Mr. Speaker, who are, who are uh, picked last year to go to Spain, who are, as a result of uh, uh, sports championship in, the, in, in, the, in high school and in primary school. We will make sure that we work with them. In fact, one of the issues that I need to explore is to make sure that the Kenya Academy of Sports are going to train all the teachers who are coaches across the country. And not just training, they must also be certified so that that certification is going to be recognized in their promotion. So that we need to use the teachers who are already in schools to make sure that we develop. That is really what is bottom up in terms of sports. Mr. Speaker, uh, just to mention the Karenga Stadium uh, in passing, as has been asked by Honorable Nelson. Yeah. Airstrip. It is true that we established and built the Karenga airstrip for purpose uh, at that point in time to facilitate the travel as insofar as the Madaraka Day was concerned. However, we had promised the people of Kericho that we will do a world class airport there and we needed land. Even when we built the airstrip, the land did not belong to the government of Kenya. It's still being owned by the private company that owns the tea farm. And the negotiations are in advanced stage, Mr. Speaker. I believe. We uh, uh, that we will succeed to get, uh, we, uh, they had offered about 20 acres, but I said it will be useful to get at least 100 acres in that place so that we build one, an estuary properly with a proper terminal, Mr. Speaker, to serve the people of Kericho. The money had already been set aside by Kenya Airports Authority. Some of the money that was uh, allocated at that time, part of it has been used, part has been left to complete the uh, negotiations. I have no doubt in my mind that my success will deliver Karenga airstrip, Mr. Speaker, in the fullness of time. Had I been given a, short more, a, 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 a bit of more time in the same ministry, I, I, I had no doubt that within the next one year, we were going to be able to deliver the Karenga airstrip. Just, not just Karenga airstrip, many other airstrips across the country that the people of Kenya are demanding because we want to make the travel become bottom-up, cheaper, and, and our country accessible, including uh, the plans we had in Moyale and Marsabit County and a number of the strip, airstrips, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I agree with Honorable Kosing. 
Honorable Kosings County produces some of the best at least in the country. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you know, Honorable Kosing and I come from the same area. Lelan area produces some of the best at least, wall beaters. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, the facilities are not there. Uh, if you, uh, there's a place that border uh, both of us, they have a small training camp. There is also another training camp in Kapengura, among other places. But, Mr. Speaker, those, most of those camps are owned by private people and they are very small. Mr. Speaker, the first gap is that Sports Act does not recognize counties else anywhere. That is why we must review Sports Act immediately to make sure that even as national government sets standards and do some of the sports functions, the county governments are given, uh, 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 have a partnership with national government insofar as implementation. Mr. Speaker, we also need to make sure that um, uh, sports development, the grassroots, the same question that had been asked by Honorable Kikaria that, and Honorable Nelson, that we need to make sure that through Academy of Sports, we are identifying talent very early and mark them to be uh, 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 to be taken to specific areas of training so that we can we can su uh, succeed. In fact, the other thing that we must do is to make sure that even as athletes prepare for their sports, they should not leave their education. There is a serious gap, especially in athletics, uh, Mr. Speaker, where many of the athlete, athletes, once they go to running, they are told, you know, concentrate on running. Yet when we go to rugby, you have graduates with master's degree and they still succeed in rugby sevens and, 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 and their rugby career. So it's just um, an attitude of how we, we fashion the athletics. We need to make sure also we support the education. And uh, to follow what Honorable Kikari has said, we need also to deal with these investments. We need to attract more people to establish academies in the country, sports academies. I know the international schools have very good facilities for training young people. We need also that to be a affordable to uh, uh, the people at the bottom of the pyramid by making sure that we support uh, investors who can come from out of the country to do what used to be done in Madare and other areas to using, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, establishment of academies. Mr. Speaker, the last thing I'd like to say is that uh, Honorable Kikaria spoke about the 142 million van and uh, the all problems that we have uh, in, this, in this sector. Mr. Speaker, corruption is a big issue in, the, in, in this. I've already covered that. Yes, I'm just saying that, uh, just as he said, we are going to be able to deal with the issue of corruption we have to head on. A forensic audit. Yes, on Mr. Speaker. How much money international organizations have been sending to these institutions? It, it is so ordered, Mr. Speaker. You have yes. ordered. <laughs> uh, Mary. Thank you. You've touched on sports academies. Honorable nominee, tattoo one.